Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. This is a real estate and home improvement show where we talk to uh, people about our community, how to fix up your home, how to hold the home value, who do you pick to do uh, work on your house so that you don't get ripped off and stuff like that. We also bring in real estate professionals who know a lot about the market and real estate, help you sell your house, help you buy your house. And we have one of our good friends back, Lena Marie from London Properties. Yes. And you come on a lot. We appreciate it very much. Yeah, we I love it. We appreciate your expertise in the market. You know a lot about what's going on with the interest rates, when it's time to buy, when it's time to sell. And you are so good that you're noticed, I'm going to embarrass you a little, you're noticed by a national TV program. Yes. To, uh, they wanted you on it, and you are going to be on it. That's right, the American Dream TV show. And that's on all the time. It's on uh, Channel 30, I think, on what days? Well, it's a national uh, TV show. Yeah. So it's just national. They go hop all over the United States. Um, sometimes it's on the Travel Channel, mm -hmm. MSNBC. It just depends on the segments okay. and the areas. And for us, it's going to be on Channel 30. So the first one's the first time I've ever come to the Central Valley, and I am very excited about it. And my segment will come on sat this Saturday, June 10, 4.30 on ABC. Yeah, let's just take a look, just introduce it, then I'm going to ask you a million questions. Okay. I'm your host, JT Kopterstein. Welcome to Shaver Lake. We're the hosts, and we're your hosts on the American Dream. We're here at Nardog CrossFit, and today we're going to get a glimpse at what they do for their classes. We'll be visiting the small quaint town of Dos Palos, California. We are right in the middle of Old Town Clovis, celebrating the 109th year of the Clovis Rodeo. Welcome to Hanford a small town in California's Central Valley known for its almond trees, cows, and a little bit of jet noise. Oh my gosh, you were in there. That's Woo! exciting. That's a, <laughs> this is a big show. You can tell it's so highly produced. It's, yeah, it's very well produced, yeah. Now, it's not really a real estate show. You're a realtor, but it's so more of a... So, it's a lifestyle show. Mm -hmm. So, they call it you a, a lifestyle specialist mm -hmm. and a real estate specialist. So, I can, you know, highlight real estate if it has to do with my segment. Let's say I was to do Old Fig, which I plan to do because that's a really amazing community Right so within this time you pick Clovis. This time I pick well, Clovis because segments. the rodeo. It just do, the timing was perfect. You're gonna do multiple segments. I get six a year. Okay, and you're gonna do fig or old fig and different ones. I'm trying to arrange like the old fig around the Christmas time because mm -hmm. of the Christmas tree lane. So you know I want to. It's kind of exciting that somebody wants to see inside of the Central Valley. Yeah. Um, that it's not always negative stuff about the Central Valley, but there are some positive things and a wonderful lifestyle that we have here. 109th Rodeo Parade. Yeah. Yeah. It was That's, exciting. That yeah. is exciting. And um, what else is going to... Now, we're going to watch. I think we're going to watch your segment. Yes. If that's okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, you'll be the first what one to see the whole thing. What else is in your segment? Thing. What are we going to see? You're going to see... Um, they'll start with the parade. And then I interview the uh, Mayor Pro Tem of Clovis. Mm -hmm. And uh, we kind of walk in and out of the 500 Club, nah, just trying to depict yeah. Clovis Did and the lifestyle. Clovis, yeah. And then um, we go to the rodeo, and then I interview um, one of the longest standing members of the um, rodeo association. Chuck Risby. Yeah. Chuck Risby. That's yeah, right. Absolutely. So, yeah. So, it, and like I said, it's just like a four minute 32, you know, I don't get a whole 30 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's watch it. Then I got a million questions. Okay. Awesome. California. We are right in the middle of Old Town Clovis celebrating the 109th year anniversary of the Clovis Rodeo. I'm Lena Marie, your host of the American Dream. So sit back and let's find out why Clovis is truly the way of life. We 
are standing here today in front of the Clovis City Hall, and I am so honored and lucky today to be able to interview Mayor Pro Tem Bong Manitua. Thank you so much. Well, welcome to Clovis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I just want to start with just a little bit of history, just a little bit and why Clovis is so unique. With regards to Clovis, we are unique because it is truly a community. We see ourselves as a table. For example, we have Old Town, we have the Rodeo Association, we have a school district, and you have the city. So we form the pillars of a table in which everybody can eat from and take from. And we are always including everyone. And it has remained that way from its inception, since its birth. I love that. I love that. And as you mentioned, the rodeo, it happens to be the 109th year anniversary. That's so awesome. Yeah, it's probably one of the oldest traditions here. And it was the women of our community who wanted to get all of us together and celebrate sort of the rich history. And today, it's the same thing. Yeah, everyone being a part of the parade as you witnessed today. I love it. It was an amazing parade. And I just love that it took a woman to start this rodeo. <laughs> I'm all over that. Yeah. We also have a lot of veterans community or, or events here as well, because we have a veterans organization here that's super active in the community. What is the secret sauce to keeping this community together and running just as great as it has? I think it's important to always know how to listen. And as council, as city, we're, we're listening. We're going, how do you want to grow? What do you want? It's traditions like the rodeo, coming out and being a part of the community. Look at all the sponsorships that support the rodeo. We feel like we are a part of this community and we want to keep that feeling for everyone and for future generations. Well, thank you so oh, much. Thank You're you. awesome. Yeah. It was an honor. experience a little bit of old town let's get down and dirty at one of the oldest most prestigious rodeos in the United States I am here with mr. Chuck Grisby he is the director of the Clovis rodeo thank you so much for spending time with me no fantastic I'm glad to have you here how did this all begin oh my god this is our 109th year, so this goes back to 1914. Kind of started off as a gathering for the community, and then it kind of developed in, you know, a cowboy said, you know, I bet you can't ride that horse, and <laughs> oh, I can, I can do that. And so it kind of, you know, just the ranches competing against each other is kind of how it got started. And uh, it's just slowly, you know, grown from, from that point, basically. The financial impact of the Clovis Rodeo on the on the general area is about 12 to 15 million bucks. Wow. This is one of the larger rodeos in the, in the country. And then we, just as an organization, give uh, close to 300,000 back to the community to the other nonprofits. Wow. wow. So with all these years, does it just get better and better? How do you guys top it every year? Well, we, it's, it's hard, yeah. but we've worked really hard to stay up with the sport, to make sure the money's where it needs to be, to keep this thing growing. You know, you, you need the volunteers and the people that love to keep this thing going to make it work. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here with me today. And there you go, folks. Thank you for joining me today covering Old Town Clovis. I look forward to seeing you next time on The American Dream. Lena Marie, a talk show, not a talk show, but a, a host of a major <laughs> national show. This is very, very impressive. I wanted to say this is there's a lot of realtors are out there, you know, they want to sell your house, they want to get your house, they want to get a commission, but you love this community. I really do. And I think it's important to know your community. Yeah. I mean, if you have people coming inside your community, I mean, yeah. 
you know. But I've never seen a realtor show off their community like that. So and I'm really excited about the project and the opportunity. Um, and it's extra work because, because I have to create my segments. Oh, you have to create it? You did write it? Maybe? I had to. I created my questions, yep. what I was going to do. Did you have to find the people like Chuck Rigsby and I did. Bond? I have to seek them out and ask them if they would. Uh, and, you know, with the Clovis Rodeo, they have a lot of national... You know, they have Coors Light. I mean, they had to follow rules. Like yeah. I, so there were certain things we could say, we couldn't say where we could go, where we couldn't go. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's same with you know interviewing the mayor. Yeah. I mean, they, they want to be careful. I want to put you on the spot about real estate in a minute, but once again, tell us when the show's going to be on. Everybody needs to watch this show. This is great for for our community. Yeah, and I'm excited. You were the first one to uh, see the whole segment. I know, I did. It'll be on what day, what time? So this Saturday, July 10th. July 10th. On ABC 30. June 10th. June 10th. So that's this Saturday. June 10th. Did I say July? Yeah, but that's right. Oh, I'm correct. Lord, I'm going to confuse here, everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah, June 10th, this Saturday at 4.30 on ABC. Channel 30. If you set your DVR, record it, get it locked in there. Be sure and you see this. Uh, be sure and see this show. Now, let's talk about London Properties real quick. Mm -hmm. Is it a good time to buy or sell a house? It's always a time, good time to buy or sell a house. I mean, like my, I bought a house. You know, my first house, nine percent interest. It's right. not crazy like that, is it? No, and they are kind of going between you know five and a half, six and a half, and you know it's there's more different like programs. Rate. And you know it's funny because there are first time home buyer programs as there always are, but when they come up, it's like for a week, you yeah, know, yeah. and then they disappear. So really, if you are a first time home buyer and you see a program, it's good to do it fast. Hop on it, but you know the inventory is you know still minimal. Um, so I think that's probably takes part in a lot of why the uh, values are, you know, still maintaining, you know. I, you talk about those programs that go fast, first time buyer programs, they open and they run out of money fast. That's why I think a buyer needs to talk to you now, even mm -hmm. if they're not sure they're ready. To be aligned. Yeah, get, start getting ready, gathering your documents, things you need to get the loans. And when that perfect house and the perfect loan comes up, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. And, you know, do your research so that you're not desperate. Um, you know, especially in times like this where there's no I like inventory. to call someone like Lena and make her do my research for me. So, <laughs> but you help people. You help a lot of people get into homes. That's right. I do. And sell a lot of homes. And you help people and sell I it. love having fun doing it. Like doing projects like the American Dream and even helping, you know, our business owners. I really want to be able to highlight, you know, our private business owners here in uh, the Central well, Valley. Clovis is going to benefit from that segment on that show. That's really nice. Absolutely. And the rodeo can use it. Right. Um, you know, she told me that they might be able to put it on their, you know, their, yeah. their sign and just run it. Run it uh, it's nice. good promo, period. Who doesn't want national uh, but You're giving promo. away our secrets, too, like 500 Club, my favorite place to go to in Clovis. <laughs> oh, I love the 500 yeah. Club. That was a fun walk through there. That was a fun walk through on the show, so. Yeah. We are so out of time, Lena. I could talk to you for hours. Anything else you want our viewers to know? Well, just call me if you need uh, help with real estate. And if you want to, you know, promote your, if you have a fabulous home, you want to promote it on the American Dream for a business, I would be happy to talk with you to see if uh, we can make that happen. Give us your phone number. 559-287-0021. There you go. Lena Marie is our guest. We'll be back with more real estate and home improvement and community right after this. Thank you.